Okay, this will be a little a run through of a handful of things. Um, and I'm gonna show basically how to make sure that you can download your videos. And then once you download those, I'm gonna download it and I'm gonna upload it to YouTube and I'm gonna edit it on YouTube. And I'll show you each of those steps. And they're sort of unrelated, but since many people want this, I'll go ahead and knock this out. And uh, if I can reuse it, I will. Anyways, so uh, here we are to course. The next thing I'll do is I'm gonna find your collaborate session and I'll show you a trick. First of all, if you go to your course dashboard, you can actually pull up instances of whatever. And I've collaborate instances. It's got all of those right there. So I look down here and I'm assuming that this is going to be one of the last ones you want. I thought it was week eight, day one. So if I go to that instance, uh, I see that there's guest links and all that's great. And I see that there's a, uh, a session here. Now, what will happen if you can download this, it's going to, it's going to have this little icon that's a download icon, but I don't see that. So that tells me what I have to do is go out of the course to where the settings are, and then I will set it so that it can download. Okay, so I go uh, back one step here. These are breadcrumbs at the top of the screen here, in case you're wondering. Uh, and I click this guy, and that puts us in the week eight area. And then I see the collaborate session as I scroll down, and then I go to uh, settings right here. And then it's that instructor settings is what we're gonna need to get to, and I'll pull that over so you can see it. And then I go to instructor settings and instructor settings say, look what you can do. Look, it's got ah, download recordings. It's by default open. But uh, you want to you want to have it tick, ticked here. So now what will happen is we're going to save this. We're going to hop out. And when we go back to that, you're going to see that you're allowed to download it. But now what it will have at the, at the bottom, it will have all of this junk. And look, it's got this teeny little icon here. That icon means you can download it. So let me go ahead and download that. And I always have uh, folders in my faculty area for things like this that I do. So if I have to go back to my remember, so I always have good file management. And it, they're all called collab hyphen recording. It doesn't have anything else, which is unfortunate. Because if you don't do more than one of these, you'd need to remember that. Now, we, I know this is like less than eight or week eight or something. So I'm going to call this week eight just so in the future, if I need to round this up again, I'll be able to find it. Okay, now I've got it there. The next thing I need to do after that downloads, I will see it there, of course, and then I'll show you how to upload it to YouTube. Okay, so now I'm in YouTube and I'm logged in, but I'm, I'm logged into the Moodle account. You have a, a YouTube account. You may not know this. If you don't, then uh, we need to get you set up with one. You just basically log in with your uh, uh, Blue Ridge account, and then you'll have to find a, where it says that you need to uh, verify your account with a phone number. You search that. You'll show up on Google in a second, and then you'll verify your number, and that'll allow you to uh, upload videos that are longer than 15 minutes. But anyways, I'm going to click into this puppy, and I'm going to go down here to where it says YouTube Studio. And then on the other left-hand side, I'm going to select something that says either content or videos. It changes what it is, but there's content. Now I'm ready to create. Now I hit create, and then I said upload videos, and then I'll grab that one and drag it in here. I will actually just pull that from here right into this little guy right there. And then it says it's uploading it. So that's terrific. And then I'm going to have to do a couple of steps every time I upload it. Now, I will call this something as clever as... Uh, something that I, it'll mean something to me. Now it's uploading this in the background. I need to make this, um, I want to make this, uh, it's going to be in the faculty playlist. That way I can find it later. I never say that it's made for kids. Uh, I thought that would make it easier. It actually makes it more difficult because it puts limitations on what you can uh, enter. And it's not about whether it's sketchy or not. It's just uh, the, the design uh, requirements YouTube has, you have to indicate that. So that's the link. I'm going to copy that right now by clicking that. So I have a link of it, but I still have to go to visibility. And then I'm going to go ahead and make this um, per, uh, unlisted, which means if I give you the link, you can see it. But Google out there, the search engine, won't see Robinson Week 8 and record that so other people can find it. If you want to make it public, you can. But especially if there's any students in it, you want to make it unlisted. Okay, so it's completely uploaded. So let's do this. We're going to go over here and we're going to, we can click into that. But what I want to do is edit it. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to just open it itself and I'll find out specifically uh, where the um, edit is that I want oh, to go wow. to. So, so uh, it turns out I've gone through it. I found out that it's like 117.38. That's where the class section ended. And I just want to trim off the end of it. So in order to do that, uh, what I'll have to do is I need to go to edit itself. Now, um, there is an edit. If I scroll down on this puppy, I can go to edit video. Uh, also, if I hit the pencil on the outside of that, it'll take me into the same editing uh, area. Within the editing area on the left-hand side, you'll see there's something called the editor. So I'm going to click that puppy. And now th what this does is it's going to allow me to um, take a look at uh, the video and also um, uh, this is basically a big uh, scrubber is what this is called where I can move the... Uh, 
uh, cursor along the timeline. I'm going to take the scrubber and then what I'm going to do is uh, I will uh, pull this over to do like 117, 118. Now what I can do also if I wanted to I could just put in the exact number here. Okay, so now the thing is there, the cursor is on the right spot, I hit split, and that turns this into a blue box. I'm now going to just pull that to the right. Once it's a blue line, I can stretch it either direction. Okay, this is what I want to have it done, and now all I've got to do is I'm going to hit preview, and preview sets it up, and then what I do is I come up here and I hit save. And it says, yeah, 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 it says it'll take a little while for it to happen. But what it's doing as we speak is it is processing that. So the steps are, again, you hit trim. Then you put your cursor where it's supposed to be, you hit split, then you hit preview, then you hit save twice. Now if it's really long like that, clearly previewing the whole thing isn't done, but that's the convention they use for just basically saying ready, set, go. Okay, so you do that, it's going, and uh, that should do it, and uh, I have the correct link for this puppy. And uh, when I leave, it will just keep going on in the background, so I can come out of that section right now. And I can um, come here and I can get the shared link, get a share of a link. And that's what I'll send uh, to uh, the individual who wants this. Anyways, uh, thanks so much. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know.